Hello all. In our previous video, we have seen the demo of this project, how this project is going to work. And also I told you this is the project for complete beginner level. Now in this project, we are going to start the front end. Okay, we will be creating this login page. We will be designing this login page using Bootstrap. Okay, if you are using PHP, then you have to install one server. Okay, you can install XAMPP or WAMP. Okay, based on your requirement, you can install anything. I have just downloaded this one. Okay, XAMPP server and inside this, inside this, I have just started this Apache and MySQL. Okay, Apache will be acting as a local server because we are using PHP here. And MySQL is the database itself. Whatever data we are going to register, that data we are going to store inside the database. So here I am just going to use MySQL database. Okay, we just have to start this one. Now, once it is done, okay, wherever you have installed XAMPP, just come to that one, okay, whichever disk you have installed, just come there and inside that I am having this XAMPP folder and inside that I will be having this htdocs folder and inside htdocs, I have just created one folder called voting. Now, inside this voting, okay, you can see it's completely empty. This folder is completely empty. We are going to write the code completely from the scratch and also I will not be skipping any of the part, not even front part as well as back end I am going to do completely. Okay, just right click on this and open with code. Okay, now once you click on that, you can see this will be opened. And in this complete project, I will be using VS Code Editor. You can choose your favorite code editor and also favorite browser in whichever you are comfortable. Okay, now here I will be having this get started. I'm just going to close this one. You can see this is completely empty. Now here I'm just going to create one file that is nothing but index.php. Okay, now inside this, we are going to create the login page. Then later on, we will be designing the registration page, dashboard page, everything we will be designing one by one. Now, before that, let me just copy this path. Now, here I'm just going to paste that path. I'll just remove from here and here I'll just write local host. Okay, now you can see it's completely empty. I don't have anything here. It's completely blank. Let me just bring here. Okay, now we are going to design like this. So before that, let me just write here HTML boilerplate. I'll just write this one and it is going to provide you the boilerplate. I'll just enter. You can see this is the boilerplate that has been ready for me. Now here inside this title, I'm just going to write here PHP voting system. Now I have changed the title. Let me just come here. I'll refresh this one. You can see here the title has been changed to PHP voting system. Now here, let me just close this one. Now below this title, I'm just going to write one comment and here I'll be writing bootstrap CSS link. And here I'm just going to search for bootstrap. I'll just click on this first link. In this project, I will be using complete bootstrap. Okay, so that we will not waste our time in styling and we are not going to focus much on CSS part. Okay, here I'm just going to click on get started. Now from here, I'm just going to copy this CSS link. Okay, whatever link I'm having here, I'm just going to click on copy. I'll just copy that one. And below this, I'm just going to paste that link. Okay, if you want, you can just remove this one. Okay, till here, if you want, you can remove or else you can just keep as it is. Okay, but if you are using bootstrap in your bigger projects, okay, then you don't have to remove this one. Okay, it should be there. Okay, now once we are done with linking the CSS, now for entire body, I have just given the background color as dark. You can see, okay, my entire body is black color. So for that, here I'm just going to give the bootstrap class and here I'll just write BG dark. BG dark. I'll save this. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see my entire background is black. Okay, now first I'm having this H1 heading. Below this, I'm having this container and inside this container, I'm having this form. Okay, now we are going to style one by one. Below this body, I'm having H1 and inside this H1, I'm just having the title as voting system. I'll just save this one. I'll come here. I'll refresh this. Okay, now you can see here I'm having this voting system, but it's not visible because by default, each and every text will be having black color. So it's not visible. So I'm just going to change the color and also I will bring that in the center. Now here I'm just going to write the class and for this, I'm just going to give the bootstrap class text info. And also I want the text in the center. So I'm just going to write a text center. I'll refresh this. Now you can see here I'm having this one. Okay, now if you see here, here I'm having some space. So for that, I'm just going to give some padding. Now here I'm just going to give padding of three. I'll save. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now you can see here I'm having some space. Now below this, I'm having one container. Inside that container, I'm having one heading. And below that, I'm having this form. So below this H1, I'm just going to create one div. And for this div, I'm just going to give the class as BG info. 
and inside this div i'm just going to write h2 and here i'm just going to write login i'll save i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now you can see the background color is been bg info and the text whatever i have written here that is changed to black color now for this h2 i'm just going to give the class first i'll just give a text to center i'll save this I'll refresh this one okay now you can see here I'm having this login now below that I'm having this form now below this h2 I'm just going to create one div and for this div I'll just give the class name as container now inside this container I'm just going to create the form now I'll just write here form and action as of now I'm not going to give anything later on I'm just going to create login page and whenever I click on this login page whatever code I have written in the background that should be executed okay as of now I'm just going to leave it as empty now inside this form i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'm just going to give the class as mb3 which means that from margin bottom i'm just going to give three space now inside this i'm just going to create one input field type let it be text name i'm just going to give the username because i am going to enter username id as of now i don't need i'm just going to remove this id and also i'm just going to give this placeholder and inside this i'm just going to give here enter your username and also i'm just going to give here one uh, and i'm just going to give here required is equal to required okay because whenever i click whenever i enter this data i need this data so i'm just going to write here required is equal to required okay that should be required is equal to required i'm just going to write that one i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this input field okay now this suggestions if you don't want you can just give auto complete is equal to off but i need this suggestion so i'm not giving auto complete is equal to off okay now below that you can see here i'm having all these containers before that let me just style this one okay for this we are just going to give some bootstrap classes now here inside this i'm just going to give the class that is nothing but form control okay this is bootstrap class i'll save this I'll refresh this one now you can see that size okay whatever size I was having that has been increased now now I don't want this complete hundred percent I want only fifty percent of the width okay you can see only fifty percent it is taken you can see here only fifty percent of the width it is taken so for that so here I'll be giving width hyphen fifty I'll save I'll come here I'll refresh this one now you can see now the width is reduced to fifty percentage and also I'm just going to give here margin auto so that it will come in the middle i'll refresh this one okay now you can see that has come in the middle we are done with this enter your username then i'm having mobile number password and this select so for mobile number i'm just going to copy this one i'll just paste that one here and instead of type let it be text okay type let it be text and this everything will be same and instead of username i'm just going to change it to mobile i'll just copy this enter your mobile and also let me just give here maximum length and minimum length maximum length maximum length is equal to 10 and also minimum length i'm just going to give here 10 okay without entering 10 digits i cannot insert the data so here i'm just going to give here minimum length to be 10 i'll save this i'll just come here i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here i'm having enter your mobile then i'm having for password I'll just come here I'll just copy this entire thing and here I'm going to paste now for this type I'm just going to give here password I'll just copy this password and here I'm going to paste enter your password okay and also I'm just going to remove this entire thing okay I don't need this one then finally below that I'm having this section let me just refresh this now here I'm having password now below this I'm having this select and inside this I'm having two values group and voter so now below this div container i'm just going to create another div and also for this i'm just going to give margin bottom of three now inside this i'm just going to write this select and inside this select name i'm just going to give here standard and id i don't need i'm just going to remove this okay name attribute we have to give in each and every input field because this is very important form related video i have uploaded in my html series video if you want you can refer that one if you are not understanding what elements we are using inside the form okay now here i'm just going to write option i'm having two values so first inside this first value i'm just going to give group then second i'll be having voter so here i'm just going to give voter now inside this i'm just going to pass the same thing i'll just write here group and also here i'm just going to write here voter i'll save this i'll come here i'll refresh this one 
okay now you can see here i am having this group okay now for this i have not given width and margin auto so here i am getting this output so what i am going to do is i'll just copy this class okay this width 50 and margin auto i'm just going to copy and inside this select i'm just going to paste that one okay now here i'm just going to give the class okay before giving that let me just write here form control now once i give this one it is going to take complete 100 percent i'll refresh this you can see it is taking complete 100 percent now i'm just going to decrease its width width to 50 percent and margin auto so that it will come in the middle okay now here i'm having this output now whenever i click on this you can see here i'm having two options okay group and voter okay now below that i'm having okay margin bottom i have given here because now if i just remove this class i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see they will not be having any space from below so here i have just given margin bottom margin bottom of three you can give four or five based on your requirement then below this diff container i am having button submit button i am having so here i am just going to create the button and for this button i am just going to give the type as submit type is equal to submit i'll save this i'll just refresh this one okay now you can see here i am having this button but i am not having any data inside that so here you can see only button i am having so inside this first i'm just going to give here login and also i'm just going to give some classes for this i'll just give here class before that let me just show you the output here you can see here here i'm having this login button now this login button i want in the middle and also i just want to change the color so for that first i have to give this button btn then i'm just going to give here btn dark i'll save i'll refresh this one okay now you can see the button color background color is been changed to dark color and also from below i don't have any spacing so here i'm just going to give margin y of 4 okay from top and bottom i'm just going to give margin y which means that top and bottom margin b means only bottom i'll refresh this one okay now you can see from top and bottom i got some margin then below that i'm having this paragraph don't have an account register here so below this button i'm just going to create this anchor tag and inside this anchor tag i'm not going to pass anything as of now later on i'm just going to pass so inside this as of now i'm just going to write href and here i'm just going to write register here register here i'll save this i'll refresh this i'll refresh my project you can see here here i'm having this register here before that i'm having this don't have an account so here below this button i'm just going to create one paragraph and inside this i'm just going to write that one okay i'll just copy the text from here don't have an account and here i'm just going to paste that one and this entire anchor tag i'm just going to copy and inside this i'm just going to wrap that one i'll save this i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now you can see the paragraph has come down because paragraphs are block level elements and it will be taking complete 100 percent so this line has come down now for this i'm just going to change the color and also i'm just going to give some space here i'll just give some space now for this i'm just going to give the class and inside this class i'm just going to give here text white text white i'll save i'll refresh this one you can see the color is being changed now this button and this paragraph i want in the middle so for this diff container okay this diff container is containing all the things now inside this diff container i am having this form now for this diff container i am just going to give here text to be center i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see that entire thing whatever i was having that has come in the middle now if you see here here below this i am having some spacing and above this i am having some spacing okay so for that here i'm just going to give some padding padding y okay top and bottom i need so here i'm just going to give some padding i'll refresh this one okay now you can see we are done with this one okay here i'm having enter your mobile number okay let me just change that one now here enter your mobile number let me just change that one i have just changed that one to enter your mobile number but here you can see here i'm not getting that arrow symbol okay it's not indicating let me just check for that one okay now inside this select okay instead of form control i just have to write here form select okay for select we have to write form select and for input fields we have to write form control i'll come here i'll refresh this one okay now you can see here i'm having this arrow symbol which will indicate me that we are having some drop down whenever i click i'm having two options here group and order 
okay now this is the simple front end for login part we are done with this login part now whenever i click on this register button i should be redirected to register.php and inside that we have to make this kind of form let me just come to the project when i click on register here i should be redirected to this page and inside this we are going to create this kind of form okay now once we are done with this we are going to connect to the database we will be creating databases we will be creating table and later on we are going to register and we will be inserting data inside the database okay that's all for this video in next video we are going to see how to style the registration form thank you for listening have a great day